Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name's Isabel. We're just gonna get right into this video. I'm gonna tell you guys the tea. I'm gonna try to keep it short. So get your snacks, sit back, relax, do whatever it is that you have to do. But first, make sure that you subscribe and we're just gonna dig right in. So before I get to exposing people, I just wanna say thanks. Um, to everyone for all your guys' support. Also, I do want to just point out that I have thought about the things that happen. Uh, considering the whole situation and how it was treated, um, I do think that it is uh, appropriate that I do make this video. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to not bash people, not give my personal opinions on stuff, but it is my YouTube channel, my channel um, and this is my platform to use my voice. And so that's what I'm going to do because I feel like how I was treated by my biological family was absolutely disgusting. I was disgusted. I was di disappointed and my feelings were hurt. But then again, I did have very high expectations. So there I go again, expecting the best out of people. So we're just going to get right into it. So we're going to take this back to the very beginning where all of this started. And if you have been following my channel, if you're subscribed and all that good stuff, then you know that about two weeks ago, I want to say it's about two weeks ago, uh, I do have a piece of paper so that I'm making sure I have all the dates and everything correct. So, if you, you know, my family, when they see this, they don't try to come for me. They don't try to fact check me, all that good stuff. So my um, car accident happened on March 14th. So I did lose my vehicle. I was a hot mess. Um, it was just, it was just, you know, not a fun time for me. Um, so all this started when I lost my car. I just want you guys to keep that in mind that this only happened about two weeks ago, March 14th, um, and I believe that was on a Sunday. So prior to my car accident, actually just prior to any of this happening, um, my brother's girlfriend, it's his girlfriend, um, wife, I guess, they're not officially married, but also it's kind of the same thing, um, especially since they have a kid together. She had reached out to me and was like, hey, I really want you to meet your nephew. Okay, so my nephew is six years old. Um, I'm gonna just tell you guys, years ago, I was 16 and I reached out to my brother and his girlfriend via Instagram and was like, hey, I really um, want a relationship with my brother. I would like to get to know you, all this and that. Um, and uh, I asked multiple times. I'm just going to say I asked multiple, multiple times. I was basically begging my brother's girlfriend to let me speak to my brother and have that relationship with him. Uh, her issue, I don't know what it was, but I was not able to have that relationship. And so this happened when I was 16. Now, fast forward, I'm 21 years old. She reaches out, has a change of heart, and I'm like, okay, Cool. So prior to my accident, I was like, yeah, we can meet up somewhere, do, 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 this and that. Like, I'm in LA. I plan to stay in LA. Um, like, let's, you know, let's meet up. It'd be great to have a relationship with my nephew and my brother and meet you as well, no matter what happened in the past. Y'all, I didn't even bring up what happened in the past. I didn't bring up the fact that I felt like she kept me from my brother. I kept my mouth shut. I was like, yo, this is such a great opportunity. This girl who I thought was absolutely insane when I was 16 is finally having a change of heart and telling me, hey, um, it's okay if you have a relationship with your brother and your nephew. So I was excited. I was like, okay, awesome. So my car accident happened about a week after we had exchanged messages, maybe a week and a half, um, whatever it was, um, you know, it happened. Okay, so after I lost my car, uh, my immediate reaction was, okay, I need to figure out my next best option. Like, what is the best thing for me to do? Um, and I do value me being independent. Like, that's something that I try very hard to do. I try very hard to stand up on my own two feet. So I naturally went into this mode where I was like, okay, um, I have nothing and I need to figure out something. Um, so I... A few years ago had done this program called woof so woofing is where you go to these farms they house you they feed you all that good stuff um and you're living on a farm it's such a healthy environment and so i was like i think that's what i'm gonna do so i remembered my brother's girlfriend 
um, and him are in Texas. So I was like, you know what? You know how cool it would be to go out to a farm. So my plan was to go to a farm, stay at that farm, work at the farm, have them house me, feed me, just, you know, kind of just um, have a peaceful time, you know? Um, and kind of just take a step back, replan, regroup myself, all this good stuff out in Texas. Well, I reach out to her and I'm like, hey, I'm going to be coming to Texas. I'm going to be staying at this farm. I would really love if I could, um, you know, if we can meet up, if I could have a relationship with you guys and stuff like that. And so she was like, she responds and she tells me, you're more than welcome to stay here if you want to. So I, right then, I should have been like, nah, I'm good, it's fine, especially not knowing them, not having that relationship. But me thinking the best of everyone in every situation, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. Like, I'm gonna go, they're offering it to me, why not? Like, I would love to do the farm thing, but more so I would love to meet my brother and I would love to meet his family and get to know them, you know, have a sense of community. Um, out in Texas, like that would be awesome. Like, why not? Um, so we make plans that I'm gonna come out to Texas, all this good stuff. So let me just check my notes real fast. Um, I left LA for Texas on Saturday, March 20th. So we make all the plans, everything is basically set in stone. I'm gonna be leaving LA and getting to Texas on March 20th, and I'm gonna be able to stay with them. I'll be working, um, all this good stuff. So this again is March 20th. That is only six days after my accident. So I felt like I was on top of my stuff. I was like, dang, like bounce back. Okay. Hello. You know, I was pretty hyped. I was sad to be living, leaving LA just because, um, I did have, I had so much fun. Um, and I didn't really want to leave, but I also really wanted to have that relationship with my brother and his family. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. So I get to Texas on March 22nd at noon. So the first red flag for me with my brother personally should have been that he didn't want to come pick me up. Like he himself didn't want to come pick me up, which I thought was weird. Um, I have to say, I was I didn't like that. I was like, whoa, that's my brother. Why doesn't he want to come pick me up? Um, he had his girlfriend come pick me up. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. That's totally besides the point, but not really because that was a red flag. You know what I mean? You know when you go on a date and you're like, that's a red flag? Okay, well, me meeting these people that I don't really know who are supposed to be my family and my own brother doesn't want to show up to pick me up from the Greyhound station, that's crazy. Mind you guys, I took the Greyhound. I took the Greyhound. I was on that bus uh, for two days and I had a 15 hour wait at one of the stupid Greyhound stations. It was ridiculous. Like I was eating gas station food. I, it was just a mess. You would think that my brother would take it upon himself to at least um, greet me at the station. Um, so now that I talk about it, the more crazy I'm like, why didn't I even notice that? I don't know. So I'm there uh, March 22nd. Um, basically, everything was going good. It was pretty great. Um, I had, you know, I was getting, it was the honeymoon stage. Um, that did not last long. I met my nephew. I put a video up, like within those two days. I was like, hey, um, this is a really cool experience. I want to put it on my YouTube channel. So I did that. And everything was great for that video. Um, and the faces that you guys saw in that video, um, that is them. I'm going to go ahead and give them names. I just gasped. You guys just saw me gasp because his girlfriend told me. She was like, keep my name out of your mouth on your YouTube channel or I'm going to report you, which I think that she's not even able to do that, especially since she gave me her consent on my other video. But just out of the kindness of my heart, I'm going to call her Maria and I'm going to call my brother Jerry. <laughs> but if you want to know their real names and their real identities, go ahead and check out um, my video. Go ahead and check that out and you get to see them real life living color. So, like I said, I got there on March 22nd, noon, yada, yada, everything's going great. They're vegan. So this is something that I really didn't like about Maria, my brother's girlfriend, was that she thought she was better than everyone because she's a freaking vegan, which I'm not bashing on vegans, okay? I, you know, 
that's your thing i love that but also you don't get to hate on people and call them dumb for not being vegans i'm just saying like and she was only a vegan i think maybe three months max and i'm like girl you was stupid just like the rest of us for your entire life don't play like please don't play I, I didn't say any of that I was like it's fine it's fine you know just trying to be like calm about everything and I was like well like that's odd that she's judging people but okay kept that opinion to myself so on the 24th um maria and i decided we are gonna go to a club it was a gay club um i was like this should be super duper fun uh, i was ecstatic for it i was like y'all i haven't really been to a club to like club you know what i mean um since i turned 21 so going to this club i was hyped i was like oh yep so we get to the club um I noticed that Maria doesn't seem to have good relationships with people because <laughs> she was like, this is my best friend. It was just a weird vibe that I got. So I was like, okay. Like I felt awkward and a bit uncomfortable, but I also had a lot of fun. But basically the entire night, Maria, um, I, I don't hate on insecure people. I would never be like, you're insecure, go away. But she just had such, it was just, her insecurities made me feel very uncomfortable. And I think um, if you're that insecure and you're projecting that onto other people, I'm not gonna say everything that happened, but I don't think it's okay. Like you need to work on those insecurities. And um, if you are projecting those onto people, you need to check yourself, you know? Um, so we're not gonna go into all of that, but we had a lot, a lot of fun. I'm gonna insert a clip of us at the bar. Um, obviously maria if you're watching this i know you are i will blur out your face sweetheart you're not getting clout from me no huh no uh honey so all that happens and it was just a good time so my brother this is where the tea comes in so jerry over here <laughs> before we left this is what um caused us to go to the club was it's not what caused us to go to the club but she wanted to step out because she was a little upset and i was encouraging her i was like yeah like let's go like why not so my brother um would leave the house at 11 p.m 11 p.m guys like where do you have to go at 11 p.m and he didn't want to take any of us with him to do but she told me um he does leave at like 11 p.m i don't know where he goes and all this stuff so i was like honey that's weird me not trying to choose sides but sweetheart that's weird so i was like okay <laughs> i felt so awkward i was just like whatever uh so i was like well we're gonna go out too like we're gonna go out we're gonna have fun so but prior to us going to the bar we did drink a bit um my brother was saying he's like if you guys need a ride i will be there to give you a ride um well long story short fool did not come clutch with a ride and we had to, yeah, take the lift. And I was so disappointed because not only are you leaving your sister, but his baby's mother also was out with me. Um, you know, how are you gonna leave her hanging? Hey, that's your baby's mother. You would think he would want her to be safe, sound, and at home. You know what I mean? But he was so mad, I guess, that we went out that he didn't want anything. Yeah, you know, he didn't want to come pick us up. And uh, just a side note, later on, um i find out he was with his sancha the side piece so we're gonna just get into all that later on so we get home um all this and that so at the bar me and amanda were talking we were sitting we were discussing what not life and stuff like that and i asked her i was like so years ago when i tried to reach out to my brother why is it that you wouldn't let me talk to him you know i just asked straight up and she turned red she was like oh, I don't know, I don't remember, and this and that. And I'm like, girl, don't play, because I got my screenshots from that time. No, I'm just like, why is she acting brand new like she didn't know? And something that I noticed was that if I said her name, name I'm sorry, I put a little quack or whatever there in, in the edits. Um, but basically, I asked Maria, you know, like, what, actually, you know what, fuck it. Sorry, excuse my language. I'm sorry, but I'm calling you out by name, okay? Um, because this happened, but yeah, Amanda, this is for you, boo. Um, so pretty much <laughs> she, um, denied everything and I was, I just dropped it. I was like, it's fine, whatever. So we got home, we took a lift home and whatnot. And my brother, 
uh, I think he was home when we did get home. Yeah, and I was like, why didn't you come pick us up? And stuff like that. He's like, oh, I was busy. And so that just made me so mad. I was like, okay. And that night I just told him, I was like, that is so ridiculous that you would leave your baby's mother out there, that you would leave your sister out there. Like you're absolutely insane for that. And I was like, you told us you would pick us up. And you know, it just really hurt my feelings. Okay, it hurt my feelings. <laughs> I was like, why would you do us like that? Like, that is so, like, it hurt. And so, after all that, it's the next morning. My brother comes in to talk to me. But Amanda, little Miss Amanda, or we can call her Maria, whatever, fine. Um, she decides she's just gonna leave. So, but this time, um, she left, she goes, does her own thing or whatever. And my brother's heated he's like i hate when she does this do to do he's going off and um i think she left because my brother came to talk to me and she's that much of a jealous person that she can't stand to see that like if he's not giving her the attention she doesn't she don't want to hear it like she she's gone she's out amanda's gone she said bye so that's pretty much what happened there and i me in the middle of this i was just laying on the bed like y'all freaking kidding me and here i am thinking like yo i literally could have been at this farm. so i'm pretty mad i'm like yo you guys have me in this stressful environment and i could literally be at a farm with some animals living my best life so friday um i decide um me and my brother decide i'm gonna leave well it was more so him he was like you know what my girlfriend is absolutely insane i have you in this position around her there's too much drama and they both were getting mad at each other because they would vent to me these grown adults would vent to me and i'm like y'all i literally lost my car like i'm not in a position where i can be your therapist like i'm so sorry but uh-uh so I, me over here, I'm just like, why are these fools venting to me? Like they, they wouldn't not. And I asked them, I was like, hey, I'm not trying to get in the middle of this. I'm not taking sides. But both of them, and I told them this, I was like, both of you are in the wrong. You have a child together and you guys are acting like children. That's wild. So I ended up leaving um, Friday at 1 a.m. My brother's like, you know what? Um, our grandma can help you. I have too much drama with my family. It's not a good environment. And I really appreciate that he told me that. But you know what? He knew this prior to me coming. So he really could have just set up in the get-go. So, and I tell him that. So he tells me, I didn't even want you to come here. He tells me he did not want me to be there, that his girlfriend invited me out and at that point, I'm just like, yo, y'all need to stop hurting my feelings. <laughs> I was like, okay, I love this for me. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to send you to your grandma's. Um, she's going to help you. Y'all, I'm turning red because this is getting me heated talking about it. <laughs> so he's like, I'm going to send you to your grandma's who's in California, y'all. She's in San Jose. Well, she's in Los Gatos, but it's like 15 minutes from San Jose. So he sends me to my grandma's and that on uh, itself is a two day it's a two day bus ride so i wasn't even in texas for an entire week before i have to get on another two day bus ride and so he sends me to my grandma so i get to my grandma's and you know i get settled in and i'm literally there for a day so prior to me actually getting there um i was told like i'm gonna have all this kinds of support stuff like that this you know all basically i got lied to pretty much um uh first thing i noticed right off the bat i was like hey can i get a ride to go get my eye contacts because i was very you know i don't i'm pretty blind and uh, i couldn't even get a ride to get my contacts and i was like okay and my grandma after i asked her how long do i have she told me a week so i was like okay well that's not what i was told um that's not the, what the plan was so I was like, okay, do I need to go back to Texas? I really didn't want to go back to Texas. Um, and my brother basically was ignoring me when I was telling him, hey, grandma's saying this isn't you know, a long-term thing. It's just a week and I, there's no way I can get on my feet within that week. As much as I didn't want to go back to that environment, I also was like, you know, um, I think I could make it work. I can make it work. You know what I mean? Um, and he, he, was, he ignored me. His girlfriend ignored me. Although they did tell me before, 
before I came out, they were like, if you need anything, make sure to call us and we will get you back to Texas. So that's not what happened. After all of this happened, I I just had to be really open and honest with everybody. And I, you know, sent I sent his girlfriend a text. I was like, hey, um, you know what? This is such this has been such a hard time for me, like just going back and forth and just all this drama. And I was like, you know what? I think you should know that my brother actually has a phone that you don't know about. And he has a girlfriend that you also don't know about. And that's where he actually goes at 11 p.m. at night and all this stuff. And I basically just told her the tea. And I was like, this is what I do what you want with this information but i'm through here i'm just gonna wash my hands of this and whatnot you know i was like i'm through but there you go girl that's the tea there kid don't say i never did nothing for you because i just exposed this fool and i don't want anyone to be like oh that's so messed up because me and him did not have a relationship like that so it's not like we were super close and all of a sudden i exposed his stuff because no i would never go there i was like you know what you literally are ignoring my calls when you offered me a place and you said if i need anything to call you that's doing me dirty so boy i'm gonna have to do you dirty back so yeah i did expose him if you don't agree with that that's fine it's already said and done um but that's the tea that's basically everything that happened that's how i exposed him and it's just a hot mess i'm not even gonna go into how messy my grandma's lifestyle was just it was just drama back and forth drama drama and i'm just not for that like i'm at a point where i'm like y'all want some peace in my life especially like i lost my car like i'm already going through it i'm already going through it why are you guys gonna drag me in to all of that and they're just not great people um so after all this was said and done um i headed out to tacoma i came back to tacoma my friends family and the ones who have really been so supportive of me and they offered me they're like hey you can stay with us you know and it's just been such a relief and it's been such a blessing and I just never would have expected everything to go down in the way that it did. And on top of everything, I also reached out to my brother and was like, hey, um, I left my entire box of shoes at your place. Um, we had a plan that he would mail it or I would send money and have it mailed to me wherever I ended up at. And that's not what happened. They're not even trying to send my shoes to me. So these people are literally the lowest of the low. Like they don't care. They have no morals. And I'm, I'm just through. Um, they're not my family. I don't claim them. I'm sure at this point they don't claim me, which is a shame because who wouldn't want to claim me? <laughs> But that is the tea, you guys. It, it goes so much deeper than even what I'm saying. I'm trying to give you guys the full like deal of what really happened. And yeah, me probably exposing my brother to his girl and telling her like, hey, my brother's cheating on you. He has a whole ass phone. Like he has a side boo thinking about getting an apartment with her and everything. I know you guys are probably like, damn, that's messed up. But when people treat me wrong and I feel like I don't deserve it, I, my, I snap into like, oh, okay we're going there so i go there if you want to go there we're going there so we went there um so to all my family watching this which i know you guys do this is again my biological family excluding um basically my dad's side's not in this and my two brothers ricky and romy are also excluded from this i don't want anything to do with you guys you guys are crazy you guys are literally the most craziest people i have met um and that right there is the tea so if you guys want to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, um, I'm going to have more videos coming out. I'm going on this whole like um, other journey. I have big plans. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Specifically subscribe and I will see you guys next video.